If I happened to come around in the quiet intensity of her waiting and met her gaze for a thrilling moment, she would quickly unfold her arms and push up to meet me. Wherever I was, she would cup her hands up the backs of my ankles to my calves and the flats behind my knees, her fingertips reaching then around my thighs receding and then reaching again and rising toward that special place she wanted to go. I shut my eyes, golden, and she made me wait, all the while my breathing getting deeper and punctuated and shallow as she played up and closer and I led her down around my waist now looking up at me, my eyes camped out behind the lids beginning to get really turned on to her charm. There's no going back, she whispered. I shuddered, wanting to commit. If anything were to attempt to distract us now, it would fail. And it is truly a dream when someone takes your body tangible and you let them. All of any sense of control suddenly up for grabs, it seemed, helpless to her telling me what to do. And will I do it? Whispering in my ear, admonishing any move I made against her momentum, guiding my body in a firm kind of way back. Why does this feel so right? I tried to bring my legs together. She would drop an elbow to keep them apart. My eyes might open then and see her face to face. And she brought herself close so she could feel my breath deeper shallow, all under the influence of her touch. She makes me wait now, just as I made her wait altogether. Just as I will make her wait, she makes me wait, and she knows I won't let her. I cannot betray him. And the game is over when I pull away from her meandering hand, bite my lip, and look away. Nothing has really happened. And we look at one another a minute later, start to laugh about it, because it was wicked fun. But what's behind the laughter, I don't want to know. Keep it golden. Bless, I gotta go. Match my socks or anything I can conceive of, just so long as I get the hell out of there. Guess every dream paradise had to dry up into dopamine and Prozac pretzel salt. But couldn't we still be skeletons someday and hanging in the wind?